Hello everybody. I can't believe I am sat here talking to you on the day before I'm leaving Siem Reap. These two months have gone so quickly and I have loved my time here. I really don't want to go. Tomorrow morning early. Now headed to the giant IBUS bus station down to Phnom Penh, which I am quite excited about going and visiting. So I will then spend four days in Phnom Penh. So after that, I will be flying back over to Malaysia and going to visit Malacca. So when I head back to Siem Reap, I will be apartment hunting, which I'm looking forward to. This journey is going to be six hours. We're going to stop for a comfort break after two for about 10 minutes. And then we'll have another stop after about four hours of traveling. We've just been given our croissants for breakfast and off we go to Phnom Penh. Stopped for 30 minutes at a service station. Don't you wish every service station was like this? Just enough time to sit and chill out in a hammock I'm having a really nice journey actually. It's so comfortable, it really is. The bus isn't full, so I've got a couple of seats to myself. I actually moved, I booked the front row, but somebody else was sat there. So rather than share, I moved to the back of the bus and now I can just chill out on my own. This is so nice. The countryside along the way has been amazing and the houses all built up on stilts. I just found myself looking out the window and dreaming and it's so different from how I was brought up and it's so different from what I've always known but to see the houses and the people smiling and happy and yeah. I don't know, I'm just having a deep moment here in the hammock. <laughs> I just hope that I'm going to enjoy Phnom Penh as much as I have Siem Reap. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but I have learnt over my time away traveling that actually you need to go and see things for yourself. Never listen to other people because different people have different expectations. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. This is our second stop, but it's only for about 10 minutes this time. arrived in Phnom Penh and it was a really really good journey and I'm now in a tuk-tuk on my way to Poolside Villa which is my hostel for the next couple of nights. On first impressions of arriving at Poolside Villa, I was really impressed. The pool looked lovely, but I wanted to go out and do the Riverside Cruise. So I dumped my bags, booked a tuk-tuk and headed over to go and do the River Cruise. Unfortunately, it didn't go exactly the way I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Story of my life, eh? Dropped off my bags and now I'm headed off to go and do a boat cruise because I'm not here for very long. I thought I would hit the road running. So I've just been dropped off at this really swanky hotel and told to walk straight through and that is where the boat tickets are sold. Oh, and there's a rainbow over there. Niles! Nanny can see a rainbow. Gosh, it doesn't look very good over there. I could end up getting wet here. Right, I've got to remember where I've come from. Reminds me later when I forget purple flowers. Don't you forget that. Oh no, I can hear thunder and lightning. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Look at that sky behind me. I think it's just down here, so I'm gonna go and get a ticket. That's not quite so good. I've just gone down and asked them and it's no, no, not on a Monday. No tools on a Monday. <laughs> Sorry in my life, right. Now I've just got the tuk-tuk all the way down here. I'm not sure what to do. And that storm is coming in thick and fast. I need to go and find somewhere to go and get something to eat, I think. I'm gonna go back to that hotel. It looks beautiful in one way. And dirty, great black clouds behind me, chasing me. So I decided to cut my losses, jump back on a tuk-tuk, head back to my accommodation and go down to street 308 which is a little road full of bars and restaurants and grab something to eat. Pork, rice and an egg for my dinner. And I found this nice little local place here. So this lady next door to me has just given me some of this to try, which is eggplant. And this, which is a little fish. Both of them are really, really good. So after my disastrous trip down to the river to go on the river cruise that never happened, I headed back to my hostel and here is my new room tour for you. This is my new dorm room in Poolside Villa. And this is my bunk here. There are no curtains, so I'm very thankful for my little elastic washing lines here. I'm all set up with my wash bag. I've just had a shower, wet towel on the bed, uh-oh. And then it comes round here. And we have got, hello, a shower, a sink, and a toilet. That's all right. I think I'm the only girl in here. It's quite a high ceiling, so that's, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten berth. And my locker is down here, so I've got all my bags in there. My red Kankin bag is all ready and packed for tomorrow, so everybody else is out. So I'm going to try and get an early night and get up early. And tomorrow I'm going to go off on my tour. Night night, everybody. Night night. I have just ordered a tuk-tuk for $20 to do a private tour. It's going to be a long, hard day today. 